So let's get into it. First, let's talk about first generation technology. And this is consciousness technology, how we use the power of the mind. So first generation technology includes your standard law of attraction teachings, things like the secret, affirmations, mantras, think and grow rich. This is why I say it's not wrong or bad. It's just primitive technology. The teachings are good. And if you've never done anything like this before, that's not a bad place to start. The good news is you don't have to go pay five or 10 or $50,000 for some fancy program. I can give you a reading list of like three, four, five books, many of which were printed over a hundred years ago that will cost you less than 50 bucks to pick up on eBay or Amazon and read those. You're all set. You have mastered the first generations of consciousness technology. This is why this is so important. I don't want you going out, getting caught by someone with a slick sales pitch, a great web page, right? Slick testimonials. They're just manipulating you to take your money. So watch out. So first generation technology is often about positive thinking. They'll tell you, focus on what's good. Make a vision board, make a wish list, enroll supportive people. Now, again, these are not bad ideas. They're just primitive technology. One of the hallmarks of first generation technology is that it focuses almost entirely on the conscious mind. There's little to no direct involvement of the subconscious. Now, they may know that the subconscious is there, but they don't really know what's in there or how to work with it. As an example, one of the good first gen programs I went to years ago, I went to keep Harv Eker's Secrets in the Millionaire Mind. It was very well done first generation technology. They got everyone all psyched up. We all jumped around on the stage and high fived each other. Yeah, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to uh, reach in and bring out my inner millionaire. And we found people to trade mastermind sessions with, and we all committed to making a vision board and did all this cool stuff. So it's not a bad thing. The trouble is it just doesn't work very well. There was actually a study commissioned on the law of attraction done, a scientific study. And here's what they found less than 1% of people who use the traditional mind power law of attraction techniques, in other words, first generation technology, felt they got good results. So a couple things to say. First of all, 1% is not 0%, it's 1%. So it can work for some people, it's just very limited. So if you get a thousand people packed into a hotel room and you have them all jumping around on the stage like monkeys shouting out how they're gonna be a millionaire, that's not a bad thing. On average, 10 of those people will have a breakthrough that will take them to the next level in life. Why? Because 1% of a thousand is about 10 people. But for the other 990 people there, they're going to go home disappointed. The temporary high of that psychological inflation will wear off. And that's a really important concept. I'm not going to dive into it in this video, but learning how to recognize psychological inflation, that's one of your golden tickets to success. That's how you bypass the nonsense and the crap and the people selling expensive boxes of hot air. So 1% chance of success, not zero, but one. 